Hey there guys, how are you? So today it's Q&A 34, this is where you ask, I tell, but before we begin, I have a question for you. If you were an undercover agent, what would your secret identity be? I would be a mall Santa Claus, and it'd go something like this. Ho, oh, oh, ho, get the f*** down, get on the pavement, spread them, motherfucker. <laughs> Theatricality, deception, all powerful agents to the uninitiated, but we are both initiated. Why did you do that? I'm a teacher. I'm trying to make it on the PGA Tour. Reservist with the 316th Quartermaster Company. You are now an undercover agent on your lies are your life. Graceland, a new original series, premieres Thursday, June 6th at 10 on USA. So if you guys want to check that out, it premieres on the USA Network, 10, 9 p.m. Central, June 6th. Check it out. More info down below in the description. There's also a sneak peek down there. Look down, but it's a little sneak peek down below. Don't get scared. Okay, let's jump into your questions. The first one comes from Ollie J. Humphrey. John, what are your thoughts on Catch Me If You Can? Love the movie. I love the true story behind it because if, if I could go back to the 1960s and 70s, I could get away with things like that. But nowadays, you have so much red tape to go through and technology and background checks and all these other things. They would figure you're like, you couldn't be on an airplane flying it. I'm not actually a pilot, you know? Like, you could never get away with that. Um, but yeah, I like that movie. Um, I'm just, I'm jealous that I can't do the things that the kid did. Uh, the next one, John, if you were forced to have sex with a man, but it could be any man in the world, who would you choose? <sighs> oh, it also says you have to pick one or die, okay. Let's go with, hmm. Let's go with, one of the Oompa Loompas from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Come on, they're not real people. P plus, when you're like, when I'm done, he's gonna make me some kind of like um, chocolatey dessert or something like a an everlasting gobstopper. Th that just looks delicious. Uh, next question uh, backs up that one. Uh, John, do you support gay marriage? I'm all for it, whatever. Do whatever you want, marry whoever you want. I don't care, it doesn't bother me. Um, but the whole concept of marriage in the first place, let's talk about that for one second. Kind of scary when you think about it. Like you have to sign your name away and then like 10 years later when you get a divorce, it's like, yeah, here's half my assets, just take them. Oh, I gotta write you a check every month too? I'm, I, that kind of stuff scares me. I don't know if I ever want to get married. I, I don't like that much commitment. You know what I mean? I can't, can't do it. Uh, John, what are your thoughts on Kingdom of Heaven? Uh, I like the movie. I seen it like once. I think twice. It's okay. Um, Orlando Bloom. Meh. Um, John, what are your thoughts on Speed and the Aviator? Speed's a bad drug. I had a cousin who lived in Ohio who was yeah. It, you're talking about the movie, though. So, uh, Speed, I like the movie. Perfect early 90s action, pretty much, you know. Aviator, love it. Howard Hughes, pissing in pickle jars, hiding in his room. If I was a rich guy, that's probably what I'd be doing right now. John, do you drink beer? If so, what's your favorite kind of beer? I'm kind of a generic beer guy. Like, um, yesterday I went to a buddy's house and drank a couple. And uh, something about drinking just kind of loosens you up so you can see. I'm a very laughy drunk. Like, I'll just drink a couple and just start laughing about nothing. Um, I think uh, he he had, like, um, Bud Light. So, I, that's, I'm, I'm pretty much open to any alcoholic beverage. I'll try anything. Uh, anything but Bush. Like, <laughs> that sounds funny. Bush, like, when you drink uh, Bush Light in a can, it tastes like rust. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Um... What are, what are the rules of Flickster Club? Um, first rule of Flickster Club, never look a man in the eyes. Um, I'm gonna make up the other ones eventually. I'm actually gonna make a video called The Eight Rules of uh, Flick Club. Um, and it's a club that no one's ever going to be in because it takes place down in my basement. All we do is sit around in, uh, in a circle, Indian style. Uh, <clears throat> I've never seen the movie Psycho. Is it really good? It's a masterpiece, check it out. Um, one day I will have a hotel, um, people will stay in it, and I will dress up like my mother and kill you, um, preferably in the shower. John, I have two questions. What are your thoughts on the Batman Arkham or Origins trailer? I watched that trailer, it just showed like, it didn't show actual gameplay, right? I watched it, it just was like, here's Batman, it looked cool and epic, but there was no gameplay, so I can't get too excited for it. Also, which gaming console would you be getting? Uh, the PS4 or the new Xbox? Speaking of the new Xbox, I they're actually announcing that right now on YouTube. Um, but I would probably... Is it still up there? Yeah. 
I don't know. It, I've seen a live stream for it. It's called like Xbox One. I don't know if I'm gonna get either, to be honest with you. I I just played uh, Call of Duty last night for like 10 minutes for the in the for the first time in a month, and I was like, yeah, this is okay. And then I put the controller down and watched Gladiator, which by the way, is phenomenal. Maximus Meridius Decimus. Um, speaking of that, I'm gonna have a few videos coming on my Flick Pick channel um, talking about badasses. Uh, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll share more details later. Um, what is your number one most anticipated movie of the summer? Some of mine are Man of Steel, only God Forgives Kick-Ass 2. Um, I just got Star Trek. I watched it again last night in the theater. I was very tired, so I was actually falling asleep a little bit. Um, I was uh, Man of Steel, yeah, definitely Kick-Ass. I'll go with you there. Um, God, only God, forgi God Forgives, yes. Actually, I heard God Forgives is actually, <laughs> you don't even have to wait for the theater. It's actually going to be on, on demand before it comes out in the theater. So you can sit at home and watch it before it's theatrically released. Kind of weird, isn't it? It seems like it, I don't know why they're doing that. It just means people are going to rip it off TV and put it online. But um, Kick-Ass 2, definitely. Um, I'm trying to think what else comes out this summer. Next week's Fast 6. I'm not, like, dying to see it, but I'm interested. Um, I'm trying to think. There's a, oh, the, you know the new Wolverine movie? They just had a new trailer for that today. I don't know what it is about that movie. I'm, I'm going to go see it. I want it to be good, but something about it just doesn't look like I what I want it to be. You know, it doesn't look memorable from the trailer. Um, but maybe maybe it'll be surprisingly good. I'm just tired of Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. That's just my that's just my thoughts. Um, Johnny Choo Choo, what would you do on your last day of your life? A lot. I, I'd probably inject myself with, a, with an adrenaline shot, drink a Red Bull, run around, uh, steal a car, a very nice expensive sports car, go to the nearest airstrip, get in a plane, skydive, rob a bank, jump off a cliff, and then that would probably... Like, what am I dying from though? Do I have like a debilitating element of my body? Like, am I like getting a fever where I don't have the physical strength or is it like, hey, you have 24 hours to live and then we're putting a bullet in your head. And do I have money? And why are these people going to kill me? Um, in reality, in reality, I'd probably just spend it with my loved ones crying. But then um, I'd want some fireworks in the background. I don't know where those are going to come from. But uh, um, why don't you just take the next plane this night, fly somewhere to a warm beach, and start a new life? I've thought about that, man. I've thought about just packing up everything, jumping on a plane or like a train and just going somewhere and just be like, okay, hey, this is where I live now. And uh, you know, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll do that one day. Uh, what are your thoughts on The Exorcist? Uh, the original Exorcist? Yes. Uh, love it. Scary as hell. Um, and one day I'm going to walk into a room. I know some chick's going to be in there puking all over the place with their head spinning in circles. Uh, hey, hey, John, what do you think of the Rolling Stones? I actually answered that in the last one. Uh, that's uh, from Skyline Station. Oh, his name's Mason. Um, <clears throat> Marvel or DC? DC's got Batman, so I'm going to have to go with DC just based on that. But Marvel, speaking of Marvel, man, have you heard some of the stuff about the Avengers? Like, every all the actors want pay increases, which is understandable when your movie makes like $2 billion dollars. And you're paying your actors five hundred thousand dollars, which to me and you, that's like a, a shit ton of money. It's like, yeah, I'll be Captain America for thirty bucks and a blow pop and a bus pass. Um, but the Avengers, the Avengers two is in some trouble right now, so things might get delayed a little bit. Uh, what are your thoughts on Shrek? I would like to know because I used to watch it all the time. The first Shrek movie was great. It was clever. It was original. It had a lot of pulp culture, adult humor, which I like in kid movies. Like when they have adult jokes that you can laugh at, but the kids still laugh at it too. I like that. Um, so I liked uh, the Pinocchio in that movie and the gingerbread man. Uh, what are your thoughts on Friday the, thir the Friday the Thirteenth film series? Are you a fan? I like a I like them overall. When you really break those movies down, they are just kind of like little, like they're movies like anybody could go make in the woods. You know what I mean? And it's kind of neat. Um, I do like the campier Friday the Thirteenth movies. Um, I like. Well, you guys remember the one with Corey Feldman? Yeah, that one scared the hell out of me. That to me that was the scariest one. Um, 
I, I like Jason Takes Manhattan, though. I know. Just when that guy's fighting Jason on the rooftop and then Jason punches his head off into a dumpster. Uh, what do you think of Singapore? Never been there. Um, you got any tattoos? What do you think of tattoos? I don't have any tattoos. I'm, I'm just, I, I, I can't, I'm indecisive. And I just feel like when I go to get it, the guy's gonna mess up. Like he's gonna sneeze and he's gonna I can't trust it. Um, but tattoos are cool, man. Uh, I've seen some really cool ones. I've also seen uh, some pretty bad ones. I actually have, um, I had a couple friends back in high school. They all got drunk one night and got pink flamingos tattooed on their ass. Like little flamingos. John, have you seen Kevin Smith's movie Red State? I have seen it. It was okay. Um, I see what he was trying to do there. He was trying to go outside of what he previously did and go, you know, try to prove his uh, his directing uh, abilities to himself. Uh, but you know, I'm more of a fan. Of, I just like Kevin Smith's Clerks movie, like uh, Clerks One, Clerks Two, Mallrats. I, that's what I'm into. You know, that's just basic, simple, fun movies. Um, and I'm really hoping for Clerks Three. That movie, that that's just my kind of movie. Like that's a movie I feel like I could write and make. Um, uh, can you, uh, hey John, which do you prefer, Batman Begins or The Dark Knight Rises, Raiders or The Last Crusade? Oh God, it doesn't matter what Batman movie I say. Somebody's gonna disagree with it. You know what I mean? I, after watching The Dark Knight Rises ten more times. I would say Batman Begins, to me, I like the origin story that they did there. So I'm, I might lean towards that, but there's also so many things about The Dark Knight Rises I really enjoy. There's so many things in all those movies that I, I love, but there's little things that I like more than other movies. So I think Batman Begins is, has a little bit more rewatch value for me. Um, Raiders or Last Crusade? Ooh. Ooh. Junior! Junior! Um, Sean Connery impression. Uh, let's go with... Um, I like The Last Crusade. I like it. I, but there's so many things about Raiders I love. Ugh. I can't just... Uh, we'll go with Raiders. We'll just go with Raiders for now. Um, Johnny, have you ever done any other drugs other than marijuana? I took some morphine pills once, but... Uh, that's about it. That just made me sleepy. Um, groovy job on the videos. Always get a kick out of watching them. Thank you, man. Uh, two questions. What do you think about the distributor? What do you think about the distributor Twilight Time offering limited three thousand copy runs of Blu-rays? I didn't know that. I've never even heard of that. Um, I feel like that's not smart. Like. Do you want to make money on your product? Offer more than three thousand, but I don't. Maybe it'll increase the value of them. So I don't know. Um, what do you think about the services like Warner Ar Archive that produce burn-on-demand DVRs or more obscure flicks? You can burn. You can burn the movie onto a DVR. Hmm. I don't like it. I can't just have a burnt copy of a movie sitting around. Like I'd feel like that was just a bootleg copy I'd have to throw in the garbage. I like things where you just go, you buy them at the store, here it is, here it is, here's the finished product, put it on your shelf, you can look at it, watch it once in six months, and let it collect dust. That's what I like. Um, Johnny, Rolling Stones or the Beatles? Go with the Stones. Um, can you make the Q&As in your basement? I, maybe the next one I will. Uh, it's just, to be honest with you, it's easier to make them up here because this is where the lights are, this is where my computer is, it's just easier to do it. Um, I actually, I, I want to paint my basement because I don't like that tan taupe color that's down there. It makes me tired. It makes me want to sleep. I don't like it. I want it like a vibrant color down there. Um, have you seen to South, okay, have you seen to South Bend and may I have a shout out? That comes from Alex Leba. No, I have not seen the South Bend. We actually have a town called South, have you been to, I think you mean have I been to South Bend? That's actually, that's what you said. I just read it wrong because I'm stupid. I have been to South Bend. Um, I don't remember anything about it. So, um, 
John, what show do you think has sunken lower, The Simpsons or Family Guy? I'll be honest, I haven't watched a new episode of The Simpsons in probably three years. So I'm probably going to go with The Simpsons. It used to be this phenomenal show, then it just got really bland. Bland's the word I'm going to use for it. Um, if you could chop your head off and put it in a box, who would you send it to? I don't know. I don't know who I'd send it to. How the hell do I tape the box though? Like, I chop my head off, it goes into the box. How the hell is it gonna get taped and put in the in the mail? That's the question we have to go after. Um, hey Johnny Pom Pom, what would you do if Nick Cage was cast in the next James Bond movie? Give me an example of what that'd be like. The name's Bond, shaken not stirred. Oh yeah? <laughs> probably, probably nothing like that. Uh, what are some of your 2012 movies that you watched after you made your top 10 that would have been in the list now? Silver Linings Playbook. That's what it would have been. I would have put Silver Linings Playbook in my top 10 of 2012 for sure. Really enjoyed the movie. Um, okay. <laughs> Are you sad that Mad Max Road Fury has been pushed back to next year? I'm having Tom Hardy withdraw and wonder how you feel about it. I'm having that too. Isn't that weird? Uh, I worked my traps out at the gym yesterday. They're a little bit sore. Um, and I, I, I was like, I, I was, it made me think of Tom Hardy. Um, yeah, uh, they keep pushing that movie back. It kind of irritates me that they keep doing that. But uh, watch Warrior, you know? Uh, that's what I do. Uh, John, have you got all the Star Trek films on Blu-ray? No, the only one I have is the 2009 J.J. Abrams one. I, I would like to get some of the older ones on Blu-ray and kind of revisit them. Because um, after watching the newer ones, I want to go back and watch like Wrath of Khan again. Uh, uh, I'm Luke Sherman, but you know that by now. Yes, I do, Luke. I know you. Um, can you share about on how you started working out? Like you started off by jogging, doing push-ups. Actually, you know what? I actually do want to make an entire workout routine video. I Because a lot of people ask me. Uh, I get a lot of personal messages about it too. John, what is your workout routine? Um, and I, I would like to make like a good five-minute video just showing it all. But how did I get started working out? You know what happened was... Um, I'm going to talk about that in that workout video too. I was, I was watching videos of myself and I got really skinny, like weird skinny. I don't, it was the skinniest point I've ever been in my life. When I first started, you go back and watch some of my earlier YouTube videos on my Flick Pick channel. I was like weird skinny. And uh, <laughs> I was watching it one day and I was like, ah. And then my girlfriend broke up with me. We split up for a little bit. So um, I was like, well, uh, I have nothing else to do now. It's time to get pumped. And uh, you know, I downloaded some heavy metal music, went to the gym one night, and I was just like, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna lift for like three hours tonight. I'm gonna rip every muscle in my body. I don't give a shit, it's time to kick ass. And I did that. Three hours in the gym the first night. Not, I haven't worked out in like two years. I The next day, I, I hurt so bad. My arms feel like they're bleeding. Uh, I laid in bed all day in pain. I overdid it. Um, and, uh, and then I just started getting a, addicted to working out. I'd go in, I, you know, when I first started working out, I didn't know what routine to do. I didn't know exactly what I was doing. Um, but I, I went for it and slowly over time I started learning and watching videos on YouTube and, and just kind of, you know, seeing what worked for me. And, uh, it wasn't until I'd say like a year after that, that I really started to get into the routines of doing things and I started not I noticed um, gains of muscle within like the first three months um, and now I just weighed myself yesterday I weigh 187 pounds when I first started working out I weighed 164 pounds maybe um, and I, I didn't gain any fat so I mean I that's it makes it's a lot of mass and that's it's kind of weird and bizarre that you can I don't know. I like it. I like protein. I like protein shakes. I like working out, and I'm addicted to it. And uh, I'm going to talk more about it in the future. I have several videos talking about it um, that we're going to go into detail. So bear with me. Um, what movie soundtracks would you recommend? I'd recommend actually the, the soundtrack to the Star Trek in the Darkness movie. I just started listening to that. That's pretty good. Um, also, uh, the Drive soundtrack. Uh, Technically not a drive soundtrack, but it's by um, 
Kavinsky, the guy who did a lot of songs for Drive. That's good stuff. Uh, Oblivion, the soundtrack for that has like one good song um, by M80. I'm trying to think what else. Uh, Gladiator soundtrack, the Batman Begins soundtrack, the Dark Knight Rises soundtrack. Um, really, if you want to find good songs that are real epic, just type in uh, epic music and they'll have like three hours of epic, epic music on YouTube. Just that's what I do. Um, uh, in my opinion, Benedict Cumberbatch gave the best villainous performance and character I've seen since The Joker. Um, I think that's debatable, but I think he did pretty good. Um, a captain should go down with a ship. Um, that was not even close. But I, I agree, it was pretty good. Um, you could go with Tom Hardy as Bane. You know, talk about a new take on a character. Got him! Uh, hey John, what's up? Uh, Joseph Wright asked that. So Joseph, not much is up. Um, oh God. <laughs> hey, John Dunbar, have you seen The Crow? And what do you think of the planned remake starring Luke Evans? Is that who they're getting for The Crow? I know at one time it was Bradley Cooper. I, I don't care, to be honest with you. Like, I'll check it out, but I'm not a diehard fan of The Crow. Uh franchise of movies um do you play black ops 2 zombies actually no i played it one time i just I, the thing about that is you get so far into it and then you die and then it's just like eh, i can't do that i can't i need i can't do that i would i break my controller um have, have you ever stole something without paying for it yes Yes, back in uh, my high school days, we we would bet each other um, and do things, and um, I felt guilty. But um, sometimes you get in the moment, man. Sometimes you feel like Bodie from Point Break, and you just got to go for it. Pure adrenaline, man. It's not about us. It's, well, it's not about the money. It's about us against the system, and it's about showing that the human spirit is still alive. Um, Actually, it, it, more than likely, it was usually from the lunch, like the lunch at school, like a like a chicken sandwich, you know. Uh, dear Mr. Flixer, could you please tell me what kind of software you use for your videos, Mr. Flixer? I like the sound of that. Um, I use Pinnacle uh, to edit my videos. I hate it; it's awful, but I'm comfortable with it, and it does give me everything I truly do need uh, to do my video editing. So. That's what I use, Pinnacle. Um, hey, John, if you were offered a threesome with Amber Heard and the fat guy from Borat, would you accept? Yes, I would. Do you think the movie World War Z is going to be a complete box office failure? And that will be the last question of the day. Everybody's talking bad about that movie, talking about the reshoots and everything that they had to do. I'm curious to see it. It looks fun. It could be good. I don't think it'll be a box office bomb because it's, it's a zombie movie. I think it's going to have a good draw of people. Um, I, I'm going to check it out definitely. I think it'll do okay. I don't think it's going to be like this runaway success. So I'm looking forward to it. Everybody else isn't for some odd reason. So anyway, guys, uh, ask your questions down below. We'll answer them next week. Thanks for watching. And due to all the questions on this q and I will have a part two in just a couple more days. I'm recording it right now, okay? All right, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.